everyone, my name is Savannah. Welcome back to Mesa Gardens Zoo, our Planet Zoo franchise series. And we are back after the new Oceania pack release. So we've got a long list of things to do today. In this episode, I want to uh, make sure we are managing our exhibits, look for a snake partner for our current one that we have. We need to train our employees, make sure our work zones are up to date. And especially we have to decide what's gonna go here and plan out the safari ride I was talking about in last episode. When I put it out there talking about a possible safari, I got a lot of positive uh, feedback on that. So I do think including the safari truck uh, transport ride, whatever you call it, into this zoo would be great because it's something that I've never added to a zoo before. So I think it would be a fun little challenge. This is also disgusting. Can somebody come uh, keep this clean, please? So I think that's what we're gonna do. Um, I was taking a look at our zoo overall here. So I'll just zoom out and we'll get a really good look. So. My thought process being is this is starting to shape up as a perfect African area. This right here is shaping up as our like primate kind of area is what I'm going to call it. I was kind of thinking maybe our Asian area, but I think calling it just primate works out a little bit better so that we can kind of keep that open and continue up there. So that being said, with the new Oceania pack releasing and so many Australian things and animals in the game, like scenery and all that kind of stuff is what I mean by things. I think branching off this way and kind of encompassing this back area to then have the Australia area meet our African area here would be really cool. And that being said, I kind of want to do the transport ride for Australia or for Oceania, uh, as we'll call it. So that's kind of my plan for that. And I was thinking this might actually be a really good time to add maybe a little bit of incline to the zoo. So if we pause this so nothing happens uh, too, too drastically while we're talking, um, if I take the terrain and we kind of use this spot as like the, the breaking point, I guess, the dividing point, and we just raise this up a bit, then I think we could add some really good dimension to the zoo. And again, not something that I generally am very good at. I tend to build very flat things, but if I just raise all of this up, and obviously this is gonna be a very, very rough layout, but then if we go down here, you can see how that might just add some height if you kind of envision some enclosures some habitats coming up up here and having some trees further up it just gives a little bit more i think to the layout of the zoo so that's what i think i want to do i think i want to make uh our oceania area kind of and honestly maybe like a, a step up here if we kind of lower this just a little bit and we have this kind of first step as our first uh, whatever exhibit we want to put in. And then it kind of goes up from there. I think that I really think I'm a big fan of that uh, option. So I probably won't do that in real time. That'll be probably part of the speed build, whether that's today or next time. I haven't really decided yet. You'll know because you'll have seen the title and the thumbnail, but as I'm recording this now, I don't actually have an idea, but that's my plan. And then we can have the safari, you know, maybe, maybe it starts over here. Maybe it starts over here. It's got to start somewhere to what will be the entrance to this Oceania part. And it kind of goes around in, maybe we'll have, Ooh, you know, maybe we can do like koalas, kangaroos, uh, quokkas, all those kind of little animals together and have them like a little marsupial uh, kind of exhibit uh, with those kind of animals running around. And that can be like the Jeep ride. So I absolutely want your opinion on that. We obviously will not finish that today, um, but I do want to loop you guys in and bring you in to that kind of planning process. So do let me know. I also uh, was going to put don't we have warthogs in this game? We have so many animals in the game now. I'm starting to forget. Yeah, we have the common warthog. I was going to add the common warthog 
in addition to these guys, maybe branching off this way. So possibly maybe pushing this back a little bit more. However, it doesn't really fit uh, with obviously Oceania being here. Where, where are these guys from again? Uh, Zoopedia here. Uh, Africa again. So <laughs> that being, I have so many plans, so many thoughts and ideas. You guys hang tight with me here. Uh, maybe replacing an animal here with uh, an Oceania animal. Maybe the Tasmanian devil, I'm thinking, goes really good there. So then we can relocate these guys into a... Would they live mixed species or or just side by side exhibits of the common warthog and the red river hog over here in Africa? I think this little area lends itself real well to being like the the kind of entrance area as you're coming in here. We can have, you know, two kind of archways here that just say Africa or welcome to Africa or whatever we want the sign to say. And then we have our two kind of small mammals here, which it did sound like the meerkat was a fan favorite down in the comments below, and I don't know if it exactly won most votes, but it's my vote as well. Um, and I'm going to hold my vote with a little bit more weight. Uh, I, I do want your guys' opinion, but I do think the meerkat fits really well here, and it goes with my vision of uh, having this area be the African area that I want it to be. So we'll do meerkats and then maybe red river hogs and warthogs here. And then this exhibit is honestly kind of already set up for Tasmanian devils, except for maybe like an indoor cave area, um, because they are going to want somewhere to hide. Let me actually look them up really quickly here. If we go down to Tasmanian devil, I'm just curious what, um, and this actually might not show me everything because if we have to do research. So they can't actually use this mud pit. So that might be a good area to kind of change into like a little indoor cave space for them. And the more I talk about this idea, the more that I've kind of convinced myself of it. However, I think I will replace these back walls with more like this because I, I don't think having the Tasmanian devils with wire mesh like that would be a good idea. Can they climb? I, I'm, I'm, they look like they could climb. So maybe, maybe a bad idea, but we'll have to see. So uh, before we get into all that, let's see what the heck we have going on up here. We have some more vet research that's complete for our African crested porcupine, which is awesome. So that's going to continue on with that. I do want to add somebody to our Bornean orangutan because I want to see if we have any other enrichment items or anything like that for them. While we're here, let's check the research because I want, uh, that means that it is research. So we've unlocked those pieces. We've unlocked those pieces. We need to unlock these pieces because there are many of them that I want to use. So we need those in the game uh, now, which is great. And then from here, let's go to our staff because I was reminded, I always forget you guys, I'm the worst. Training is very important and we definitely have the funds this is going to make our staff's life so much easier. So let's go ahead and just train them all up while we're sitting here. Uh, let me make sure I don't miss anybody. Go all the way down the list here. Everybody get some education. That's beautiful. I can hit play and we can have things happening while we're kind of chit chatting and talking. We've got players in the zoo. Great. We have some challenges here. Habitat space, satisfy a Siaming land area requirement. Their land area requirement is not already satisfied. Uh, increase red crowned crane education to 8%. I think we can do that. We're currently at 6%. And then uh, increase average habitat species overall welfare to 86. You guys don't have a higher habitat welfare? What the heck, man? It's 84? What? Didn't that just say, increase it to 86? It says it's at 78. I guess it's average. So somebody's welfare is not that great. Okay, well, we'll look at that in just a minute. What the heck is the Siamang's uh, land requirement here that we are not meeting? Oh, we're not meeting that by a lot. Why? Oh my goodness. They really want more than that, but it's so beautiful as it is. 
I like it so much. Should we just put... Should we just put another bridge? Like, what if we do this? And we just... Cheese it. And we put a little bridge... Right here. So that they can be happy. The picky little monkeys that they are. Bring this down. Let me rotate this a little bit this way. And we're going to have it kind of meet up, I think, with this little platform here is a good idea. Bring that down. Like so. Does that actually do anything? Where'd you guys go? Oh my goodness, you're all up in the, uh, the little shelter. That's pretty cool, though. Um, did that do anything? Like anything at all? Oh, it made it so they can escape. <laughs> That's probably not the best thing. Let me look at my barriers here. Uh, get out of this map. Aha, that's why. Why would I do that? As a, as a, uh, when I build, I normally am not that precise with these, uh, null barriers, but apparently I felt like I needed to be this time. Let's bring all this back. Oh, panel too short. You're fine. Just participate, please. Bring this all. No, no, yeah, there we go. Great. Thank, thank, thank you. Come on, work with me here, barrier. I really want to avoid doing this with uh, detaching any of this because then the game freaks out, thinks your animals are escaping. Hopefully they can't make it all the way over to here. I really hope that's not the case, but let's see. Let's see if that does the trick. Um, get out of this menu here. Go back and find my Siamang. Where did he go? Right here. Great. Now let's go here and hit play. Okay, so he can use that. There are no... Oh, that's a problem. Why is... Why is that climbable? That's annoying. Uh, his space is not satisfied still. Okay, that might be something we have to work on, but I'm okay with doing that. I'm okay with giving them access to back there. We still need to decorate it, and maybe we just... We end up pushing this back out a little bit. Um, however, this needs something to be done about it. And if I scoot this a little bit, I think that should fix it so that it's away from this fence. Does that fix it? Because I really don't want them escaping. Okay, great. Um, however, they can climb that. Oh, you know what? Can I? I can turn climbable things off, right? Um, I have never done that before. How does one do that? Uh, is it here? Random rotation, position snap, flatten terrain, highlight hidden barriers. Uh, no. This isn't. Cli is this the climbable piece then? Climbable. This is the climbable one. So how do we turn off the climbable? Split from group, move, advance, rotate. What? Didn't they add that? Didn't we get to uh, turn that off? Flatten terrain. Random rotation. Yeah, that doesn't work. Okay. Um... Um, this might have caused more problems than it's worth. However, maybe it's just because of the tree. And if we move the tree further... Okay, well, that's an escape point now, but we can move the barrier. Why does this have to be so difficult? Why can't you monkeys just cooperate? Where'd you go? Okay. So you can still climb that, and you can still climb the fence. So I don't... Why is just that area climbable for them? You're going to come over here and show me, huh? Aren't you? He says, oh, look. Mischief. I can get into that. Can I click on you, though? That would be great. Please don't climb the fence. Are you just going to run into the corner? That's fine. Okay. Great. Um, hmm. Maybe... I hate things that climb. <laughs> I really 
don't like things that climb. Uh, how about we steal this section? Like this and not... Oh, no. I want that. This right here. And we just fake it till we make it kind of thing. Lift this up and over here. Can you get out of the way? Because I want to add this here. Would be nice. If we just get this situated right next to this tree. And may actually maybe back a little bit because that will help us extend this land. I've gotten so distracted. This was not my plan for this episode uh, starting off. But this is where we're at now. Um, let me pause this, and then if we take this, this, and this, and we just move this backwards a little bit, because it still should... It'll connect right there perfectly, and then we'll just extend this right here, and that gives a little bit more land space back there. We can delete this one, and then that matches up there fine. This, I just... <laughs> I just noticed we never finished the fence here. This, this does not look safe. This 100% is a liability. Guests are either going to go in there and get themselves killed or the monkeys are going to jump out and get into mischief. Um, we need to fix that. But not right now. Right now, we are going to take this and duplicate it and turn it and fill in this escapable little gap here like a so beautiful great take that we'll duplicate this over here and kind of complete that and we can even make this a little bit further as well if we kind of rotate this and then push it back okay beautiful update barriers otherwise we're going to get a very oh dang it dang it dang it don't do that i didn't mean to do that that's what i was trying to avoid uh move this back so that they have a little bit more space and i'll be a little bit nicer and more precise with this one and then will that solve all my problems you think do you think we're good after that i think so right um what if we okay i'm gonna delete this one real quick too and that way we just get rid of so many points. There we go. We can make that barrier just a little bit nicer. Okay. Now. Uh, habitat. Traversable area. Hit play. You should have... What the heck? What the... <laughs> that made it worse. It made it so much worse. Why? I don't understand. Okay, well... It's not saying that it's an escapable thing right now. There ha this is still not satisfied. We still didn't solve any of our problems and only made new ones. Okay, well, you know what? I don't know what to do with this now. I think I'm just gonna leave it as it is and hopefully nothing bad happens. Uh, she says right before chaos ensues, but you know what? What's life without a little bit of interest in it? So we'll see what happens. We have more vet research, more crested porcupine things. Uh, yeah, go ahead and keep researching that. That's fine. We'll get to the very top of that research. This is what we actually need to expand. So I was thinking um, if we get our terrain tool here and delete this water and lower... Oh, that's a very large space bring this out even further like so we can kind of extend this out and satisfy their need for more space i think like that i mean this is still a huge exhibit and you guys in the comments were telling me that you know they would have a huge range in the wild and you know yada yada and i completely understand that um, zoos are not the wild, though, is where my hiccup comes. And it's not really that, I guess, realistic or feasible for these exhibits to be this, this massive. Um, but we're going to go with it because we're in franchise mode. And so let me go ahead and change the color there. And what is that transparency at? Um, I just want these waters to match like they were before. That's still white. Transparency is two. 
So get okay, this one, transparency to two. That work? Why didn't that work? What? Does it need to unpause? Why? Or is it negative two? Oh, it's point two. <laughs> it's <laughs> okay. Point two. All right. My brain is on now. All is fixed. All is well. Now let's grab this barrier and do the same thing that we just did for our Siamings. Bring this all the way out so that we don't have any escapes because the orangutans can't go in the water. Is that right? They can brachiate though. So we might need to maybe put, oh, we can do an additional climbing frame. Um, did I make this all one piece or no? I really like our climbing frame, so I don't really want to get rid of it. So we, we might actually just leave it as is, but if we duplicate that and bring that down here as well. Now, let's see, what is their land requirement now? And more importantly, can they escape? Why is that an escape point? But we'll look at that in just a minute. Uh, good, they have lots of terrain and their overall welfare is 85. Terrain, terrain setup is inappropriate for this animal and they don't have enough hard shelter. Well, what the heck do you want for your terrain then? Oh, less grass, way less sand. They want more soil. So, while they're trying to escape here, oh, and it's nighttime, good night, we will do lots of soil on here for them, because I actually don't mind the look of that. All of this here needs to be soil, soil in here will work, even though it's under the concrete, still counts. We'll do some light soil here, 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 all around, we love our soil, be happy about your soil. Uh, they still want less sand, but there is no more sand, really, that I can see. So maybe it's all under this. Is it still going down? Yeah, it's going down a little bit. All the sand under here can be gone. We're so close! Okay, there we go. <laughs> we were so, so close. So they still need hard shelter, but if we hit play, please don't be going to escape here. Oh, God. He's going to jump, isn't he? Watch. I really don't want you to do that, please. Can you move back over here? Thank you. Uh, barrier. If we move this out a bit, is it still an escaping hazard? Like that. And play and habitat space. Why? I don't understand. How about this? How about this? Uh, all one group, put this over here, and we'll just continue on, continuing on with this back area. Oh, goodness gracious. Can I have this, please? Thanks. Make it fit like that is pretty good. And then we'll just rotate this one and we'll clean this up a little later. My only interest right now is making sure that the monkey can't, or the ape, excuse me, can't uh, escape over this river area. Because that is what I do not want. Um, wasn't there one of these? Yeah. That was not a full circle. It's great. So we'll do this kind of thing and just make it go a little straighter. Again, we'll fix this up in a little while, but that should fix our escapeing problems. Let's double check this play. Did I did that fix it? It fixed it. Okay, fantastic. Fantastic. Did we get our, our this? Our, our this? Wasn't it increase the overall welfare to 86? It's only 81%. What the heck, man? You need more uh, hard shelter. Well, you know what? If I felt like finishing roofs, I would have this totally satisfied, but I don't like doing roofs. Um, but here you go. We'll, we'll do this. That should satisfy that, hopefully. I mean, I can't imagine they need too, too much. And then we do have to finish this building eventually. <laughs> At some point, uh, we will finish this uh, 
building an exhibit. Can you come back, please? 92%. Did we get it? Did we get it? Did we get it? Is this all the species? This is all the species, isn't it? Why? I was thinking... I was thinking it was orangutan because there's a picture of an orangutan. You know what? I give up on that today. I need to just stick to my to-do list and not try to accomplish other things because clearly it messes me up. We need to name this porcupine, this baby porcupine. So let's go in here, get this baby. Oh, it grew up. Which one is it? Uh, that's the male. This is our baby porcupine. So baby porcupine is grown up. However, I got a very cute name suggestion for Roxy. So we're going to have Roxy, the baby porcupine. Was I giving it an asterisk? Right, right, right. I need to remember my own um, name labeling situation. Also, is this barrier looking like rough here? It is. Can Oh, no, not edit. Not edit. I need a mechanic. I need a mechanic. How the heck do you call a mechanic? Oh, right here. I'm doing great, you guys, today. The the two brain cells man working way overtime, uh, but we're getting it done. We're, we are we are doing good. Vet research is complete. Let's grab that. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, snake, snake. We need a desert horned viper. Specifically, we need a female desert horned viper. So come on, big money, big money. It was already sorted to that, I think, and I just got rid of it. <gasps> Yes! Okay, I didn't even look at stats. That one's pretty terrible, but it's kind of our only option. So, woohoo! We have, we have a girl. He finally has a girlfriend. That's beautiful. They are doing just fine and dandy because there's only two of them in there now. Let's double check on these guys. We have two males. Let's get rid of, actually, we should look at your stats. Woohoo! Pretty terrible. You, my good sir, to the Trade Center. Uh, and then these guys, we have, what the heck are these? Common death adders. That's right. We just have two. Okay. So they're doing beautifully as well. Let's, uh, release, or I guess quick trade you because we need that money. Not really, but I don't want you sitting in there in storage. And that's that. What do we do? Okay. Look for snake, check exhibits, train employees, name the porcupine, plan out safari. So that was it. That was our to-do list. Now, I have been chatting for about 30 minutes or so now. So what I think we're going to do in today's episode, instead of a time lapse, and I really hope that you don't mind me skipping a time lapse again, I think we're going to move our red river hogs. So let's grab all of these guys and go to the trade center. We don't want to get rid of any of them, especially these adorable little babies. But we're going to get rid of these guys, put them in storage for the time being. And then we're going to get our Tasmanian devil in. This is what I think we're going to do. Because I'm really excited to see them in the game. Um, let's double check first that we can get some. Let's go to Tasmanian devil. So we got a male here. Male here. You're a little better. So I'm going to adopt you. And then female and female. I'll adopt you. Now, let me check their Zoopedia and double check how many. Uh, one to five. Okay, so we can have more, but right now there really are not a lot of good options. I mean, I guess we can get all four, but that really doesn't leave us a lot of room for like growth and things. So uh, let's get rid of this. I think they still like the box, so we can leave a box in here. They do not want this, so we'll get rid of that. And that's where we're going to make our little cave. Um, do they actually like this or not? I'm not quite sure. Let me go to my storage, grab our Tasmanian Devil, because let's just double check like the space requirements and things like that first. Uh, play. And then we do need to adjust this. So when they get in, we'll we'll edit the signage. Otherwise, the guests will be very, very displeased. Um, they'll feel lied to. So we got to fix that right away. There's one. There's two. They look so tiny in this exhibit. I think they're going to have plenty of space, which is great. Um, Tasmanian devil, please. There we go. And we'll fix this one as well. Oh, and we need to add more education to the uh, red crowned crane as well. I was going to add some like speakers. Um... That is not a Tasmanian devil. 
you have not enough enrichment, not enough hard shelter, and is that not enough plants? They want more plants, right? You, what? How is there not enough space in here for you? Also, you want less rock. Well, you know, you picky poo, you can't have everything you want. But in this case, here, have some more uh, grass. Um, let me double check, though, that there's not... This guy is really booking it for something. There's not an escape route in here, right? You went, like, straight for this other wall. Okay, no, there's not an escape route. Great. Um, We might just push this back a little bit, then. Continue it from that wall. Because that still works. And then we can... Is this all one group? It is. Then we can push this back just a little bit as well. That'll just give them, you know, just a just a tad more space. Just just a tad. Um, and then this. We want this to be like a cape. However, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Does this count as shelter? Because if that's the case... We can kind of tuck that there. That looks pretty good. Does that count? Oh my goodness, it counts. <laughs> I'm so excited about that. It totally counts. Okay, fan, fantastic. Enrichment. Enrichment, they need a scratching post here. You know what? We might end up doing like a little cave anyway, just because I think it would be cool. But let me just put down some of this enrichment so that they have it. I've also not seen them use this before. So I'm curious what they do actually do with that little scratching wall. And then you need like a little blood scent marker because you guys are little, uh, little evil carnivore things here. Hit play. That's the welfare. What enrichment do you need? You need more food enrichment. So what's your food enrichment? Oh, okay. Yeah, we can give you this. We can give you this in place of that one. And we'll even make it the same color. Pause. We'll make it green. I don't know why, but we'll, we'll make it green because the other one was green. So how about like a faded green? Like it's old and been in the sun a while. There we go. Beautiful. We'll get rid of that one. And that should honestly, what in the heck is that? What is that? Oh my goodness, that was more zoom than I wanted it to be. Why is there a taco in my exhibit? Is, does this happen? Is this a thing? Did that fix the food enrichment? It didn't. Um, hold on though. What? Are you throwing tacos in here? Look at her. She is so pleased. It was her. Look at her clap and look directly at the taco. What a jerk. Okay, well, how how do I stop that? I, I, I have never, I have never encountered this before. I'm at a loss for words. Um, okay. Well, you, look, you have a taco and you still need more food enrichment? Um, okay, well, you know what? How about this? How about, how about a fake zebra? How's that? What if we put that over there for you? Does that work? Food enrichment, toy enrichment. Great, that works. Uh, plants, temperature. Really? You're too hot? What temperature do you like it at? Zoopedia. Um, is this where I find the temperature? You guys, I don't know how to play this game. I don't know why you guys watch me. 31 degrees Celsius. 31 degrees Celsius. So here's this, and we're going to do two of them and we'll sink them under the ground once they're set. This one is going to be two. No, we want a range of that and we want this set to 31 degrees. Look at this. I just, we'll set it to 28. There, how's that? 28 and 20. Eight. There we go. This episode is kind of chaos. I apologize. I I had such good intentions. This episode was going to be like, I had a to-do list. I knew what we were going to do. 
I was gonna get things done. And then, and then, and then this, this. Just a taco and distraction and climbing monkeys. Okay, but look, but look, we have a Tasmanian devil. And so, can you pick up that taco? Thanks, you know, cause that doesn't belong in the habitat. <sighs> Thank you guys for watching. We have Tasmanian devils. Let's focus on that for just a minute here. Look at how adorably uh, weird they look because they're such weird animals. But we love them and we have them. So there you go. So anyway, uh, things that I need for opinions for next time. 100% we need some names for our Tasmanian devils. We have two, male and a female, soon to be babies. So please feel free to leave more name suggestions uh, rather than too little down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of our Oceania area being elevated and back here and doing the safari in Oceania versus in Africa over here. We're going to move our Red River hog and our common wart hogs that we're going to adopt are going to go somewhere right here. This is going to be meerkats. Our, hey, our birds are happy. I actually completely forgot that we even had birds uh, to begin with. So that's improvement. That's great. And that's, that's it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Leave a like, hit the subscribe if you want to see more of me not knowing how to play the games that I have over, you know, hundreds of hours in. That would be fantastic. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.